Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Q. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what is row level security. Stay tuned. What is row level security? How do you configure it? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So, what is row level security? Row level security is a way to restrict data based on the logged in user. So someone signs in, the data is filtered down based on who that person is, okay? And so take for example, I'm the manager, uh, the global, the CEO manager of this company and we sell stuff, right? And when I sign in, I see all the data from every country that we sell stuff in, United States, Germany, France, yada, 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 right? We hire Adam, Adam says, Patrick, I only want to see data in Germany because I'm a more of an international kind of guy, right? So we create this rule that says country equals Germany and we assign Adam to that rule. And when Adam signs in, he only sees data from Germany. Then he comes back and he goes, hey, Patrick, I like France also. So we create another rule that says country equals France. And we add Adam to that role or we create one role that contains both of those rules. And then Adam only sees data for those two countries, right? So how do you set this up? How would you set this up? Well, you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Let's say you have this report right here you've created and you wanna set up security for just Germany, right? Just Germany. So we're gonna click manage roles. You click modeling in the ribbon, you click manage roles and then you click create and then we're gonna call this Germany, Germany. And then you find the table that contains the country, right? So it's our sales territory table. Click on the ellipsis, choose add filter, and choose sales territory country. And then all you're gonna do now is type Germany like that. And then there's a little check here that'll help us verify that our DAX expression is syntactically correct. Go ahead and check that box, click that box, and it'll if there's an error, it'll pop up. If not, it doesn't do anything, all right? Go ahead and click save to apply the role to the model. Now, before you publish this out, let's verify that this works. And so Power BI has a little view as option in the desktop that allows you to do it. So go ahead and click it and you'll see our role that we created Germany. And if we click okay, check the box for Germany. And if we click okay, you'll see that it filters the data down just for Germany. And it just kind of works, right? So now I've set it up in the desktop. I've validated that it works. Now I want to move this report up to the service and then I'm going to do some few things there. I have to add people as members of that role. You only can do that in the service and then they can access the report. All right, let me show you how it works. So let's stop viewing. Let's click save. Let's publish this up to the service. Okay. So now to get this configured in the service, after you publish your report, you head over to the workspace where you publish the report, hover over the data set, and you'll see this little ellipsis, go ahead and click it and choose security from the menu that appears. And so we'll see our role here and there's no members. You can add people or groups. Let's just go ahead and add Adam because Adam's the only person that's gonna be selling stuff in Germany. We'll add Adam, be sure to click add and save to apply your changes. Now, before we email Adam or give him a call and let him know that this is all set up, you can actually test this. So if you hover over the, the security role and if you click the ellipsis and choose test this role, it'll show you, hey, there's, this is only the sales from Germany and reviewing this as Germany. Perfect. This works. And so now I can email Adam and say, okay, Adam, you, you, you have access. Go ahead and start looking at the report and you only see data from Germany. All right. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Patrick, what if I give people access via the workspace? Is there anything I need to consider? What if I give people access via an app? Are there things I consider? Or what if I allow them to connect or how do I allow them to connect to this data set and Power BI desktop and start building the reports? Does role level security work? Well, that those questions and many more are answered in our role level security course. If you head over to Guy in the Cube, click courses, you'll see a new course that Adam and I put together. You can register for the course and you can learn all about world level security, all the ins and outs and all the tricks and details. They're all spelled out in that course. All right, what do you guys think? You got any questions about the course? You got any questions about this video? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. It's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. 
as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.